Hello, welcome back to another Fuji Recipes video. So this week we are taking a look at the Ilford 400H black and white film simulation. And I'm going to say from now, I really, really, really enjoyed this film simulation. I mean, I'm a sucker for black and white images anyway. I think on my Instagram, the last 12 images or so have been black and white, and I think, I don't think I'm gonna change, I'm just gonna stick to black and white. I just like the way it looks, right? So let me give you a, a little bit of a backstory before we get into the actual episode. And I just wanna tell you what I've been up to this week using this film simulation. So at the start of the week, I took my family out into the forest and we got some typical family shots, you know, just walking around the forest using this film simulation. And I think it went rather well. Check this out. I would love to be killing for you Bleeding your name with mine But it's enough to be loving for two Pretending your hands are mine Simple selfish Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I really enjoyed getting these shots. It looked pretty cool. Um, I just love the texture, the richness and everything of this simulation. As far as black and white goes, Acros looks really nice in Fujifilm cameras. But this recipe, I don't know, it just takes it a little bit further. It looks a little bit nicer. There's something about it looks super nice. All right, so let's get into the, the main part of this episode. Now I decided to switch it up this week instead of going around neighborhoods and suburbia I decided to go for landscape shots which I don't think was the best idea especially using this black and white film recipe. I'm not Ansel Adams you know what I mean my, my landscape photography isn't that great but I feel like this film star called this film recipe will be better for uh, people, objects, and buildings, man-made buildings and things like that, you know what I mean? When it comes to like normal natural landscapes, I probably would have went for a different simulation here, but it is what it is. I've made what I've made and I've got what I've got, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so you guys sit back, relax. Here's the Fuji recipe and enjoy the video.
So I guess that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the chilled vibes as usual. As far as this film stock goes, this film recipe goes, the Ilford 400H, I'm going to give this recipe a 8.9 out of 10. That's probably my highest rated score so far. I just love this recipe. I love the bold, rich, deep shadow colors. I love the highlights that just suddenly pop off. Like I like the, the, the thin line between getting it great and getting it bad you know what i mean like if you slightly underexpose everything just goes black with this thing you know what i mean and if you slightly overexpose everything just blows out and goes pure white you know what i mean so it's it's a nice challenge it it brings us back to that whole film aesthetic that whole film feel and that's what we're all trying to reach especially when we're doing these recipes especially when we're using fujifilm cameras in general the whole feel about it is trying to get that film kind of feel and i, I feel like this recipe just enhances that emotion and that feeling even more so i'm giving this one an 8.9 out of 10 absolutely loved it i love the look of it it looks realistic it stays true as far as i can see to the ilford look it's got the grain it's got the darkness it's got the punchiness really like it you guys should test this one out i would say personally maybe focus this on doing portraits um you know suburban kind of imagery stuff like that cars maybe i don't know i think it'll look great with those with landscapes it's okay i mean i felt like the more sunnier it was the more harsh lighting i got better images out of it so um so yeah bear that one in mind so i guess we'll call this one a wrap for this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed it um, and if you do leave a comment below man and keep encouraging me to make more of these these series because i like doing it myself and i'm not sure if everybody else likes watching this series but uh there's a few people that subscribe just to watch the series and i appreciate that that's real nice all right then so i'll catch you in whichever video happens to come next whichever film recipe i come to test next if you have any ideas as usual you know leave it in the comments below but until then, I'll catch you again soon. Peace out. Don't try to be good for everyone. Cause everyone can hurt you and get right in your soul. You become a savage on your own.